I'm going to say goodbye for now. And I don't know if you do. Thank you. And I should tell you, that I don't know if you, well, you probably do. <laughs> I'm 97 years old. You may or may not know it. And it's my ambition to keep moving for as long as I can. And I hope that you will make that your prayer too. Thank you very much. I got to sit down for a little while. Thank you. Ida, thank you so much for teaching our first class. <laughs> we have some small oh. little gift for you. Oh. Thank you very much. Oh, Please take a this seat. This is just lovely. I first heard about Ida was two years ago, and I was sitting at my desk at work, and somebody in my office brought me a picture of this lady named Ida Herbert. And she was 95 at the time. And I took that picture and I put it at my desk as inspiration for all that is to come for my own life. <laughs> and here you are. Well, thank you very <laughs> much. <laughs> it's just a dream come true. And quite uh, inspiring because if you saw what she was able to do, it's, it's a great movement forward for our own bodies, our own spirits, our own minds, that if she can do it, we can do it. And that's amazing. So a few little um, things about Ida is that she's actually in the Guinness Book of World Records for 2014. Give her a round of applause. And since she's here with us for another few minutes, does anyone have any questions, things that you'd like to know, sh knowledge and wisdom that you'd like Ida to share? <laughs> and when did you start your yoga career? I was about 52 or 53. Okay. And I saw a lady doing yoga, so I asked what it was she was doing, and they told me, and I just, I, I just had to do it, and I really l loved it. And I do, most days, um, something. And I also have a, a, a little uh, class at the village where I work, every win where I live. Every Wednesday we have a, a morning class and the girls love it and they love the relaxation period where we lie for 10 minutes <laughs> completely <laughs> relaxed. <laughs> Never any problem doing that one. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you have to say? Favorite posture? Relaxation. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ida, do you follow a special diet? Um, y yes, yes, I do. I always make sure I eat lots of yogurt. <laughs> Yogurt. Uh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and my uh, my flax seed too. I make sure I have a, sp a small spoonful of my flax seed. Okay. And um, I don't eat much in the way of meat and potato type of type of meals. I eat uh, lots of salads, lots of fruit, and I do like meat. I if. If I can afford it, I, I will buy myself a steak, a small filet mignon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Questions for Ida? We have a couple minutes. Yes? A person or a place that inspires you? Oh. I can't off. Offhand, I can't think of. Uh, oh, the garden inspires me. Mm. I I do have a very nice home, and it looks out onto a. Do you see that? Yes, <laughs> it's a beautiful garden, flowers. Yeah, uh, I have a lawn as big as this, and I can see grass as far as the eye will take you, wow. and I just love. Just love that. Yes. When is the best time to practice yoga? Whenever you feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> no excuses. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yes, question. 
present goals with your practice? Present goals. To keep on moving, keep I on moving. Uh, I I will probably, if I have to do it lying in bed, I will. <laughs> <laughs> if, it's, if it's only my arms and doing oh, and my legs, I could always lift my legs yes. if I have, if I'm confined to the bed. <laughs> a, a couple of weeks ago, Ida went motorbiking. Oh. Yes, <laughs> and uh, I, I felt very worried for her that uh, hopefully she can still teach the class if she goes motorbiking, and she was fine, obviously very fine. So keep on moving is your motto? Yes. And your mantra. Yes. Uh. Do you have a meditative practice? No, only before I go to sleep. <laughs> okay. I meditate lying down. Yes, <laughs> on your way to sleep. On my way to sleep. Right. A few <laughs> moments of gratitude. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for thank being you. here. Ida, thank you for being here. Give her a warm welcome and uh, a safe send-off back to Brecon today. Thank you for being with us. Thank you.